All of these coils have been wound by hand using salvaged wire and here's an example of the wire that I've used to wind some of these coils. Now unless you have a wire straightener I would suggest to stay away from these square forms and stick to something that comes in a round form like that. The reason for that is because although when you start your coil the um, the radius of curvature on the wire is going to be quite large you won't have any problems with kinks or anything like that as you get towards the end of your coil you'll have a, a more of a 90 degree bend in the wire and you're not going to be able to pull that out no matter how much tension you put on the wire as you're winding it so that'll make for a coil that sort of looks a bit more unsightly on one end than it does on the other and this is exactly what's happened to me here we start on this end you can see that the wire is nice and smooth, not many kinks at all, looks pretty good. And then as we move along down to this end of the coil, you can see that there's a whole bunch of little kinks everywhere, and that's from that 90 degree bend. You can see they're more pronounced on this end, and as you go up towards this end, you really can't tell that it's happening it's only when that wire is bent right around that corner and you really you really just can't get that out there's nothing you can do about it it makes it look a bit unsightly and it makes it hard for the next step which is the insulation of the coil